women suffer from the same pattern of economic equality in all nations. Um, and we're seeing the truth of this observation playing now all over the world. Um, they're concentrated in the very industries that shut down first, like retail or education. So once the pandemic hit, a significant lar significantly larger segment of women lost their jobs. And that's all because of the face-to-face -face nature of those segments, right? Um, so they're also disproportionately in part-time work. And this time, part-time work got hit very, very hard. 70% of those jobs in the UK uh, went, went down like in the first 11 weeks. Um, and so the, this is this is because of the industrial um, concentration, but the existential threat, which is being pointed out by the UN and World Economic Forum and other uh, organizations besides the LL, ILO, is to take out women permanently. And that's because what we're living through doesn't just hit them by industry or job type, it's the contagious effect on child care, uh, child care provision that gives this crisis the power to just run it to years. Mm. And in terms of uh, addressing these issues, what can a government and state authorities do to try to address these issues? Well, in the short run, they need to be looking at the women's economy directly and looking at exactly the specific constraints that women suffer that men don't. Um, and it's very important to the recovery because around the globe, women um, account for about 37 to 40% of GDP. So it's just nuts not to look at them, be planning a recovery and, and leaving you know, nearly half your resources on the table. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is that they need to focus on the daycares um, and uh, be able to um, provide financial support, probably grants, to keep them in business. Otherwise, they and, and to support them in the in the new operations under the coronavirus. Right. Um, after the pandemic, they need to start addressing childcare as an economic infrastructure. Uh, issue and not a luxury for women who ought to be at home anyway. Uh, Professor, I want to ask you about what we've been talking about on this channel for, for many years now, and that is equality that takes us right to the top of many professions, where you've seen a glass ceiling effectively for many people. Women have not had the same access to top leadership roles, to access the same amount of pay. Clearly some of this must make a difference if you've not banked enough cash uh, before this crisis to tide you over. Also, if there's more job cutting, surely it's the lower level jobs where women might be more exposed that get cut in this crisis. Uh, yes, women worldwide tend to be focused in lower level jobs, which means that they get hit harder in a situation like this, and that is happening. Um, and it is also true that they're not advancing uh, in the rate that their qualifications suggest that they should. Um, I suggest in my new book that this is because we're not looking closely at the male behavior that's causing this. We're just wanting to blame the women all the time.